Hey everyone, this is an addition to my Centaur time-lapse video. I didn't like how the human part came out on that video, so I went back and made some changes. So I'm going to show you in this video how I went from this to this. I'll start by adding some texture and color to the body, especially under where there will be hair particles. I like to add a similar material so that any exposed skin doesn't show up as much. And all of this work that I'm showing now is being done in Substance Painter. All right, now I'm starting to add the base skin material for under the hair on her head. Now doing her lips and her eyes. Right now she kind of looks like a clown, but I promise it'll get better. All right, now I'm starting to test skin materials for her upper body. It starts off looking pretty orange, but I'll show how I mix in some other colors to bring it back to where I want it. I'm smoothing and blending the texture so that it's more fine in softer areas of skin. Also adding a little bit of light patches to a few areas on her face where the sun would hit more frequently. Okay, here I'm smoothing out most of the skin. The texture was definitely too, um, too bumpy or too defined, so I wanted to kind of smooth it out a little more in general. Now I'm adding some uh, extra colors, some areas of a little bit darker skin, some areas of lighter skin, and then blending them together.
All right, and then here is a quick preview inside of Substance Painter. At this point, I was just playing some of the color and textures to see if I could get a good balance between the lighter color and a, a really fine texture on the belly. For this stage in the model, I decided just to paint on fingernails. In the renders, they are pretty convincing, so eventually, though, I'll have to go back and add some actual uh, mesh modification for the fingernails. Okay, now back in Blender, I came in to fix some of the hair particles that um, got messed up when I corrected a few parts of the mesh. What happens is if you if you add or subtract a bit to the mesh, any hair particles tend to uh, lose their sculpting, so I have to come back and read those, which is fine because I wanted to kind of make a new style for this one anyway. Here you can see I have I have separate particle systems on her head. This allows me to uh, blend them in a way that is more convincing without actually having to just try to add hairs to one particle system. This way I can lay them down in different directions and they kind of hide each other and hide any gaps. So right here, I'm pulling out just a couple what's called parent particles, which define where the rest of the particles that go between them. So each of those strands of hair that's out on its own will have some between the next hair. So it makes that kind of cascade effect. These recordings are all run at 8 speed, but you can even see how moving the hair slows down my computer as I'm doing this. Okay, I also did some corrections to the eyebrow and eyelids. And then here I decided that I would make a new sort of a shirt for the character. And I'm gonna also do that in Substance Painter. So 
I had to add a material and then export to Substance Painter. Here you can see the meshes inside of Substance Painter. And I was pretty quickly able to find a leather material that I thought looked pretty good. Made it a red color. And then I used a seam. in Substance Painter to just build a seam right onto the side. And it basically takes minimal effort to do that versus actually modeling one. I think in future videos, I'll spend more time making clothes have actual mesh geometry for things like that. But for now, this ended up looking pretty good for, for what it was. Okay, I exported that back into Blender now. And here briefly you'll see how I brought the new textures for the shirt back into Blender. And there you can see it is applied to the model. All right, now I'm just setting up some renders. And here is the final character where she stands now. Definitely a big improvement. In future videos, I'm going to start to animate this character. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and let me know in the comments what you think and what you would like me to work on.